What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my website, ckwrapstoronto.com. Sign up for our mailing list for promotions and exclusive offers, discounts as well. Now I'll put that in the description below. Now I'm gonna do another test here and something that I thought was really fascinating uh, was some information that I found out about one of these particular films. Now, one of these films has quite a heavy resistance to heat. I'll see if you can guess. If not, I'm gonna show you which one. So we have our suspects here. We have Avery, Orcal, Vivid, and 3M. Uh, I don't have enough room on the window, unfortunately, to show you 3M at the same time as everything else, but once something happens to one of them, I'll remove it, and then we will throw 3M on there and see what happens as well. Again, I'm not excluding it. I'm just, I'm just putting it there right now because I didn't have room and these were already uh, on the window. So. What I want to do is I want to test the, the, basically the durability against heat here and its resistance against heat. So we're going to take the heat gun and it's a 500, 500 degree heat gun and we're going to put that close to the vinyl. I'm going to angle the camera a little bit differently. Okay. So I've put the camera on a better profile, or giving it a better profile, put it on a better angle for you guys so you can see the distance with the heat gun and how far I am, trying to maintain consistency here. Now, we're gonna take, I'll just start from here. I'll start with Avery. We're gonna take our heat gun, we're gonna warm it up until it gets hot, it's hot. All right, and then we're gonna hold it against the film. And we're gonna see what happens. It'll probably start to smoke, no panic, it's just adhesive. Okay, so we're approximately six inches away. Maybe, sorry, maybe seven or eight inches away. Let's just try and keep it on the same level here. Try and hold it for about 20 seconds or so. And so what you can see here is with the thicker film being vivid here, we, it takes a little bit longer to soften up. And then it starts getting really pliable like the rest did. Okay, so nothing happened from that distance away. Let's bring it in a little closer, okay? Let's bring it in about half of that. Doing pretty well. I'm very close, you know, I'm, I'm four inches away here, maybe less. Trying to give it time so I can see it moving. And if it doesn't move anymore, then we move on. Okay, so pretty good. Let's bring it in a little closer. I'm gonna go about two in, two to three inches. I see things happening. The film is definitely burning. Okay, let's move on. See a lot happening there, still maintaining color. Bloop. All right, that one's gone. Let's bring in, let's bring in some 3M and give that a chance to catch up. So can you see, you can see the burn in the Avery. We've got nothing in the Oracle. It's pretty cool actually. 
And let's add some heat to 3M. We'll give it a chance kind of further away, see how it does. And then we'll bring it in, see how it does, and so on. We'll get it caught up to the next one. Let's do about the eight inches away. And then we'll just kind of move it in as we go. So not a whole lot happening, right? We'll give that a second. Just let it cool a little bit. Let's bring it back a little closer, half of that. So it's thinning out pretty good. You can see that. I don't really know if it's necessary to go even closer, but hey, why not? Okay, so we got damage. Two inches away, two inches away, four inches away. Now Vivid could take it. 3M can't do the four inches. Let's try it a little bit closer, so we'll let it cool a little bit. Will it recover from there? No, it will not, okay? This is finished. The, even, even this is kind of finished as well, you know? It's not extra, I can stretch it out a little bit, but you know, it goes away. We still have pigment though, that's just, which is important. And here we have no pigment left and it will not recover as well. So I can't even like kind of stretch that out. So again, just showing you. So now let's, let's take it and we'll bring it in to like the two inch mark or even not quite that close. It's gonna go. Try to let it go. So finished, right? Let's do Avery again, we'll go a little closer. Avery's pretty resistant. I gotta say, it's, I'm, I'm close with this heat gun. 500 degrees, guys. It's burning, sure, but it's not giving a deep hole like that. I mean, how close can I put it? I got a point blank right here. It's pretty crazy. So again, we can do it with Oracle as well. I could pretty much sit here for a long period of time and do this. What this means to me is the heat resistant is important, okay? The heat resistance is important. What it's showing to me is that, okay, like in a hot climate, we're gonna, we're gonna have a pretty solid and durable film. Let's go point blank and see what happens. We're like one inch and we have a fan hitting it, okay? So look at the color. It's barely, it's barely touched. It's very impressive, actually. Uh, this is something that I came across and I thought, hey, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys what's up. And you can see the difference, it's clearly. I had this one inch away. That didn't even make it to that point. And then this was, you know, it held, it held without blowing all the way through for Avery. But again, it burned. So almost no burning, next to no burning. And you're never, ever, ever gonna heat your vinyl this much, but there are climates out there that are very hot. You know, you start wrapping cars in Mexico or you know, South America, anywhere, pretty much. You got a hot climate. Again, this is holding its pigment. It's, it's with the heat. This is not. What does that mean in the end? Again, is the sun ever gonna get, is the surface of your, of your vehicle ever gonna get up to 500 degrees? I don't know, probably not. Um, I mean, that's, that's stretching it for sure. But over time, this should, this should last longer in its pigment and its shape and its form and everything else. Like it's, it's pretty much recovered from that hole that I put in it. It's crazy actually. It's actually really, really cool. Very cool stuff. So, just something to show you guys <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. I do like testing vinyl and I do like showing, you know, what is up. Yeah, so I do like testing vinyl. I do like showing you guys what's up and just some, some characteristics, little things, little things that make them different. Pros and cons of all these films, okay? 
It's got repositionability, repositionability, no repositionability. So it doesn't have that glide ability when you put it, that glide capability when you put it down on the surface. It wants to tack like most other films do. These are pretty much the only two in the market that are gonna just kind of slide around for you. Um, so 3M and Avery. Every other brand out there is not gonna slide around for you. So again, pros and cons. I do like to run you guys through this kind of stuff. I thought this was a really cool test to do and put it on video to show you guys. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see some more videos like this, don't forget the subscribe button. Again, I appreciate you watching. Take care.